Hey VC, it's Travis back again with another vinyl update. Long time no see. It's been a good five or six months since my last update. And as I always say, I've been extremely busy, which is the truth. Uh, I joined a band last year, so a lot of my free time has been dedicated to playing with them, uh, practicing and playing shows and stuff like that. Um, but of course, I always find time for vinyl. So I wanted to post a little update here, show you guys some of the stuff I picked up over the last half a year or so. I'm not going to show everything because that would be pretty crazy, but I still have a pretty massive chunk of stuff that I would like to show you guys. Uh, all A lot of gems, you know, just great stuff. Uh, so thanks for tuning in. Let's get right into it here. Uh, first one, Neil Young and Crazy Horse, Ragged Glory, um, one that's been on my wish list for quite a long time. Um, kind of hard to come by being that it's early 90s, Neil Young, um, but just a great album. Uh, Super happy to add it to my collection, uh, fill up my Neil Young collection for sure, but uh, great, great album. Um, another one too, R.E.M. Monster uh, from 94, I believe. Uh, just one that you don't see a lot, um, but I found this for a decent price and had to jump on it. Um, so, great album again. Um, here's another one. Uh, the Replacements, Sorry Ma, I Forgot to Take Out the Trash, uh, debut album from The Replacements. Um, been on the lookout for this one for a very long time and, um, you know, finally just bit the bullet. Found one that was decently priced, in really great condition, um, you know, just awesome. So, uh, you know, a lot of these are ones that, um, you know, have been on my wish list for a long time and, you know, that I just decided to, to finally jump on, you know, add them to my collection. Um, this one too. And actually, next couple I got from my my uh, buddy JC. Uh, I've bought records from him in the past. They're just a reliable guy. You know, sells great stuff, good prices. Um, you know, always in really nice condition. Uh, Jane's Addiction, Ritual, the little habitual. Um, so another one again that you just you don't see every day, um, but great one to have for sure. Um, these are all original presses too. Um, the Jesus and Mary Chain Automatic um, original press there as well from JC. Um, I did have uh, um, plain recordings uh, pressing I got from Maggie um, a long way back. Um, and, you know, I just would like, you know, the original too is just cool to have. So I'm super happy to have that as well. Um, let's see what this one is. Oh, another Jesus and Mary Chain from JC, The Sound of Speed, kind of a compilation. Um, some of their uh, outtakes and stuff from their, I think their 90s stuff, uh, like from Honey's Dead and so on. Um, so, pretty cool to have that as well. Um, next couple I found at uh, Revival Records in Eau Claire. Um, been having a lot of good luck there too. Um, you know, I've picked up a lot of stuff. There's some more stuff later on in the in the video here that um, really kind of blew my mind finding there. But this one I actually got pretty recently. Um, Metallica and Justice for All. Of course you guys probably know this one. Um, original Press. Um, been kind of uh, eyeballing, you know, some of the Metallica ones. I know that they just reissued like, you know, all their first five or six albums or whatever. And, um, you know, I was considering getting, you know, some of like the early ones, like Upgrade for uh, kill them all and like ride the lightning and stuff which I don't have um, but I already have an original Master of Puppets um, and then I saw this one I was like well you know maybe I'll just try to stick with finding the originals um, so I got this one uh, it was a great price super happy to have that one as well um, you know one of my favorite Metallica albums really um, so I'm still looking for an upgrade for Kill 'Em All and also Ride the Lightning. I would really like to find a nice copy of that as well. Um, Black Album, you know, I, I guess I'd pick up if the price is right. I, I thought about getting the reissue. Um, found these ones at Revival as well, a pair of Pylon Records. Um, so I got Chomp and Gyrate, which I believe is their debut if I remember right. But um, I heard about these guys um, through the VC. My buddy Nolan got your nose. Um, he uh, showed the Chomp record here a while back, and it kind of just piqued my interest a little bit. Check them out. I really dig them. So um, you know, pick these two up. Great albums. Um, 
kind of you know 80s alternative rock um, I would compare them a lot to like REM if you're into them I think they're from actually the same area I think in like Athens Georgia area so uh, very very good um, check them out if you haven't heard of them um, here's a newer one I picked up uh, Ryan Adams uh, self-titled album came out I think late last year um, you know I've been a, kind of a casual Ryan Adams fan I do have Heartbreaker which I got many years ago um, I don't have any of those other albums uh, on vinyl but I decided to pick this up and I've been hearing good things about it and uh, you know I listened to it once I, I really dug it but uh, definitely need to dig into it some more um, so yeah check this out too if, uh, if you dig Ryan Adams now um, here's one that um, I already have um, this is the Gun Club Fire of Love um, I do have a reissue that was put out a couple years ago. It's an import, I believe. Um, was done by Munster Records, I believe. I think they're out of Spain or something like that. Um, and then I saw that um, it was being reissued by a label called Porterhouse uh, Prime Vinyl, um, Porterhouse Records, and um, it's uh, remastered or something from the original analog tapes and stuff. So I, I mean, it was cheap enough. I think it was only like 17 bucks or something. I just decided to pick this up. I um, was really impressed with it. So uh, if you're looking for this album, uh, between the two, I know you can still get that import, but between the two, I, I would go with this one. Um, uh, this one I thought sounded a lot better, and with the color scheme and stuff, uh, matches the, the original pressing, uh, I do believe. Um, the original ones go for quite a bit of money. Uh, Ruby Records, uh, just insane. Um, and also this one too, the kind of fill out my gun club collection mother juno this one i do believe is an import it's the original press from 87 i want to say um but uh yeah this is a, a great album too uh so super happy to have gun club in my collection one of my favorite bands um here's another one i got from jc um the beck loser single um 12 inch obviously uh back to steal my body home um, this is original on Bongload Records, 93, so I thought that was a pretty cool 12-inch to have, you know. Obviously, I would love to find Mellow Gold or Odelay and stuff like that, um, but I was super happy to add that to my collection, too. Um, got these from Revival 2, I believe. Um, you know, the Oasis reissues, definitely, maybe. And What's the Story, Morning Glory. So... Got some Oasis in the collection now. Super happy about that, too. And uh, also this one, uh, Parquet Courts, um, Sunba Sunbathing Animal, uh, their second album, I do believe. Um, kind of a newer band. Um, I think they're originally from Texas or something. I think they're based out of New York now, but um, kind of a garage rocky feel to it. Um, Kind of more upbeat. I would compare them to like the Gun Club a lot. You know, the Gun Club for sure. Um, but yeah, one of the newer bands I'm really interested in. So had to pick that up. So definitely, definitely dig that one. Um, let's get into some of the kind of like punk rock stuff I've picked up. Actually, kind of went on a binge of a punk rock vinyl, and a lot, found a lot of these at Revival in Eau Claire. Um, which is uh, just awesome because, you know, some of these I just don't find. Uh, this one I did find online, though. Uh, this is the Suicide Commandos Make a Record um, band based out of Minneapolis. So somewhat local for me. But, um, yeah, just uh, kind of a rarer one, but just uh, this is fantastic. Yeah, some, some great punk rock there. Um, this one I got online, uh, Buzzcocks, another music in a different kitchen. I want to say this is their debut, um, but yeah, just fantastic there. I uh, got this one from JC as well, uh, Buzzcocks, Love Bites. Um, this is, I do believe, also an import. I don't remember where from, well, I don't know, we'll say France, but um, embossed cover there. Very cool, great album. Um, this one, another one I got online, Wild Gift by X. And uh, also Under the Big Black Sun. Um, actually, I got this one from Craig Zappa 
2-1-7-8-6. Thanks, Craig. Yeah, this is great. Um, adding a lot to my X collection. Um, here's one I found at Revival. Bad Brains. Their, uh, their self-titled one here. Um, this is... Um, there's something weird about this one. I don't really remember all the details. I don't think it was issued on vinyl originally, I want to say. I could be wrong, but this is from 97. It's a 97 press of this one. Um, and I think it has been reissued um, since then. But, uh, yeah, just great. Wanted to get some bad brains in my collection, and here's my first one there. So definitely on the lookout for some more. Um, another one, uh, Black Flag Damaged. Um, this one again I got a revival and they have the reissue there and it was you know like it's normal price I would say probably like nineteen twenty dollars somewhere in there and then they had this one for like sixteen dollars you know original on SST which I well, actually might not be original I'm not sure but uh, you know an older version of it definitely um, but you know for getting it cheaper you know it's in great condition too super happy to have that um, this one I got online, uh, Descendants, Milo Goes to College, you know, just some, some punk rock classics for sure, uh, definitely been digging this one. Um, here's another one I got online, really cheap, great price, usually a um, little bit pricier, um, but it is a reissue, I do believe, uh, The Damned. Um, yeah, this one wasn't great condition it has a barcode on the back demon records um, it's 1987 so it is it is a reissue um, and has this annoying sticker on there too but um, yeah just a great album um, got this one at revival it's a reissue of Fugazi repeater been digging them as well uh, found this one at revival as well dead Kennedy's plastic surgery oh sorry I totally forgot the yeah plastic surgery disasters. Um, again, this is uh, an original there too. Um, they had the reissue, but you know, thought I might as well pick this up. Um, another one I got online: uh, Fuzz Tones, Lysergic Emanations. Um, with this really cool cover, I really dig this cover. I think that there is an issue of it with a different uh, different cover, but I, I really dug this cover. You know, and this is great uh, 80s garage rock revival. Definitely dig that. Um, Depeche Mode 101, double live album there. I want to say that's from 88 or 89. So, don't see this one very often either, but found this one for decent price. Great condition. Um, here's a reissue on Matador um, Mission of Burma. Signals, calls, and marches. Um, you know, I kind of forget the details on this one too, but I think that um, they're, they're, it combines some of their early EPs and stuff. So, really been digging that. Um, let's see what's next here. I um, also kind of went on like a hip hop binge too. Wanted to fill a lot of holes in my hip hop collection, so I've picked up some some really great stuff. Um, pair of Beastie Boys albums that I didn't have, Check Your Head, and uh, Ill Communication. Yeah, had to pick these up, these are the reissues. Um, and they sound great, so if I had Paul's Boutique forever, I have an original of uh, Licensed to Ill, um, but didn't have those two, I needed to get those. Um, De La Soul, Three Feet and Rising, or Three Feet High and Rising, this is a reissue as well. Um, just a just a great one to have there. Um, another 12-inch single. Um, Rockmaster Scott and the Dynamic Three. The roof is on fire. A couple different mixes and stuff on there. Um, yeah, just one of those one of those songs that I dig, and I just I had to get the 12-inch single. So yeah. Um, Self-titled album by Run DMC. One that's been eluding me for a long time. Finally got that one. Yeah, great, great stuff. Uh, I actually just got this one today. Uh, EPMD, Strictly Business. Uh, still in the shrink wrap. I'm probably going to rip that off, though. It looks pretty crummy, but um, yeah, this is another fantastic one from 1988. Uh, moving into some more 
alternative stuff here. Um, kind of this was kind of a blind buy for me. A uh, Volcano Suns, uh, the bright orange years. Need to listen to this some more. This is on Homestead Records, though. That's really kind of what initially caught my eye was the Homestead, um, and an All Night Lotus Party, also by the Volcano Suns. Um, need to dig into them some more. Need to listen to these again, but you know, just some great kind of like alternative rock. Dig them as well. Um, the Rain Parade, Emergency Third Rail Power Trip. Um, this one I also got from JC. Um, been kind of looking out for this one for a while too, and it's for some reason not very easy to find. But yeah, did get it from JC. So thanks, buddy. Um, here's one that again I kind of just picked up just for the hell of it. Uh, the Modern Lovers. Um, they're you know famous self-titled album um, this is a reissue on Rhino Records uh, from the 80s sometime but I have the reissue um, I want to say that's on Four Men with Beards which um, you know there's kind of you know eh but uh, yeah this is great though so love the Modern Lovers it's a great album um, and then I just totally went on a whole uh, meat puppets binge as well. I wanted to just fill my collection up with some meat puppets. Uh, so, kind of over a couple weeks, I just, you know, went on the hunt on trying to find all their albums. Uh, I got this one from JC as well, uh, self titled Meat Puppets. Uh, I got this one online, Meat Puppets 2, uh, which features a lot of the songs that Nirvana covered, um, like Oh Me, Lake of Fire. Plateau, yeah, and let's see this one, Up on the Sun, I got this one at Revival, um, great one there as well, uh, this, this one I got at Revival too, Meat Puppets Out My Way, uh, Mirage, by the Meat Puppets there, and Huevos, Huevos, my Spanish is terrible, but this one's actually really do good. I dig that one a lot. And Monster by the Meat Puppets there. So it got like an instant Meat Puppets collection. I dig it totally. Awesome stuff. Um, final little stack here. Um, and I also got some 45s. Um, picked this up at uh, my little antique shop, the Honey Hole, I guess. Uh, the Beatles, White Album, um, Mold Fidelity Sound Lab. Um, not that I really needed another copy of this album because I already have like four, I think. <laughs> um, not including the CD and stuff, but uh, yeah, this is uh, you know my first Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab record. Um, I I do believe I think it's my first, and um, you know I figure what better way to you know start collecting those than getting the white album. Um, it's in great condition. Hardly anything wrong with it. Um, and I figured it would be like a definitive version of it, you know, for me to enjoy. Because um, pretty much all the other copies I have, there's like little something wrong with it. But that one's just like perfect. Um, Miles Davis, Big Fun. Another one I've been kind of on the lookout for for a long time. I think a lot of these were uh, during the same sessions or outtakes or something from uh, Bitches Brew, I want to say. Um, or at least around that time, so kind of the same... Same idea there, but some great, great Miles Davis there. Um, a pair of uh, Brian Eno records, another Green World. And I got this one from JC as well. I've been picking up a lot of stuff from him. Uh, Here Come the Warm Jets, Brian Eno. Um, pair of Grateful Dead records, I got these at Revival, and Anthem of the Sun. And Live Dead. Now I know this one's a reissue. I think it's from the early 80s or very late 70s, but it's in immaculate condition. It's fantastic. A great album, too. Um, and Fleetwood Mac, then Play On. Been eyeballing this one for, for a really long time, trying to find a good copy of this. And yeah, there's some things wrong with this one, but definitely, uh, definitely good. Um, so that's it for the LPs, I do believe. Uh, I got some 45s here. Um, been putting a lot of focus into getting um, like 90s 
stuff on 45 so that's definitely what all these are I do believe yeah um, got Rage Against Machine bullet in the head with the picture sleeve there uh, B-side is Darkness which was uh, not on the album uh, this uh, Tom Petty you don't know how it feels back with girl on LSD from his Wildflowers album uh, Faith No More epic back with Edge of the World Slash kind of hard to see um, another one on Slash the Bodines closer to free and it's back to the live version of that uh, Delamitri um, Tell her this back to the world of me, which was probably their biggest hit, as far as I know. But it turns out it was the B side, maybe. So, yeah, really hard to see these. But Delamitri, uh, Blues Traveler, Hook, backed with round, uh, Runaround. So back to back hits there from Blues Traveler, and last one here, Blind Melon, No Rain, backed with Tones of Home on capital they're really really hard to see that one but there you go all right so um that's all i got for today uh thanks for tuning in um hopefully i can maybe get back into a regular you know process of posting videos but um you know i i do appreciate you guys hanging out and <laughs> sticking around with me um so i'm still here um so i hope to see you again soon peace